<coughs> let us solve one more trig equation of 10. So whenever you have an equation of or trig equation of any form, you treat it as a simple equation. Now here the question is, you have to solve this and you write the x between 0 degree to 360 degree. Now this is a tan graph. As you know, if you draw the tan graph, it asymptotes uh, at 90 degree and this is 270 degree, not 180, sorry. This, uh, this is 270 degree, okay. So this is 270 degree, this is 180 degree. So this is tan graph, okay. So now, now let us solve this. So if you take away 1.58, you take a 1.58 from this side, you have to take away 1.58 from this side. So 10x is 1.3, take away 1.58. Okay, so 10x, so let me use a calculator. So uh, 1.3, take away 1.58 that is negative 0 0.8. I'm going to do this example in a slightly different way than what I have been doing. Uh, I was doing, there's nothing wrong in the way that I was doing, but I want to explain how the calculator works. So if you, if you find x is tan inverse of this uh, value, so if your x is, basically what you're doing is you're taking tan inverse of both sides, so tan inverse of 0 0.28 okay so basically this question is when does tan x become 0 point negative 0 0.28 so first let me so this is mm, i don't want that so this is this is zero and this is say this is my guess so this is negative 0 0.28 negative 0 0.28 so the question is, when does tan x or your tan graph become negative 0 point, negative 0 0.28? So first I'll draw, let me extend here. So these are the two places, these are the two x values where, so this is one value of x and this is the other value of x. Okay. Now. So the, the, the question is, we want to find these two values. So this is your x1, and so this is your x2. Let me delete this. This is your x1, and this is your x2. The question is, basically, you have to find these two values. Uh, you'll have two answers here. Now, when you press 10 inverse of negative 0 0.28, the calculator will give you this angle in a negative form. Now, the negative angle means you're going backwards, okay, from 360, you're going backwards. This is the answer that the calculator is going to give you. So I'll show you. First, you should set your calculator on degrees. And then if you press Shift 10 of negative 0 0.28, that will give you negative 15.6. That means negative 15.6, if you imagine a unit circle, you're going clockwise from the starting point okay so this is negative you're going from 360 backwards and that's why they have given you negative so by default the calculator gives you the value which is nearest to the origin this this or this okay but this is also the origin 360 becomes the origin for the next cycle if you can understand so the calculator has given me minus 15.56 Okay, so that should give me, that should explain that this is 15 degree, 15.6 degrees to the left of 360 degree. So, and as this is again symmetrical, and so if this is 15.6 degrees, so let me, I'm rounding this to 15.6 degrees. So if this distance is say 15.6 degrees here. Yeah, as this is symmetrical, this distance at my drawing is not exact. So this distance would also be 15.6 degrees away from 180 degree. This is 180 degree. So as this is symmetrical, I'll, I'll check this on a calculator. So 
this is the intuition this is what the, you should understand so this 15.6 degree minus means it is to the left of 360 degree so by just looking at this i can let me change color this is the color so i can put uh negative here doesn't matter we're using a calculator so we can say the actual angle the actual angle would be 360 so let me write this this is minus 15.6 doesn't matter this minus 15.6 is going clockwise or going backwards from 360 to zero so actual answer would be 360 minus 15.6 degrees that's one answer and the other answer would be so this is your x1 that's this is x1 and this is x2 would be 180 minus 15.6 180 degree minus 15.6 degrees so let me do use a calculator so this is 360 minus 15.6 is 344.4 degrees so this is one answer is 344.4 degrees and the other other answer is 180 180 minus 15.6 which is 164.4 degrees okay, now we'll check this on a calculator 164 point now we have rounded it so this will be not an exact answer but uh, the calculator will give you an answer which is rounded to this so now go to your graph and let me delete this so that I can show you. So this is 10x, and uh, this is your graph. Okay. And then if you go G sol, G sol, you want to find x. So x calc, the y value is negative 0 0.28. So the first answer is 164.35, which is rounding up. This is 164.4, and the other answer is 3. 44.4 degrees so this is nothing but 15 if you go anti-clockwise so if you're going this way it is from 0 to 360 the angle is called positive but if you go backwards 344.4 degrees is same as minus 15.6 degrees anti-clock or minus hopefully this video has been helpful see you in the next video